I'm Emily and I'm a student at the Aveda Institute of Minneapolis and today I'm going to show you how to make beachy waves on yourself. So to start out what we're going to be doing is taking some water and wetting down your hair. I'm doing two braids today because my hair is not too super thick and it takes curl really easily because I have natural curl in my hair already. Now if you want to practice trying three or four, it really depends. You'll just kind of have to try it out on yourself and see how it all goes. All right, so I've literally put water all over my hair and I'm going to brush that water through on both sides. And I have two equal sections right now. And since my hair also takes curl really well, I'm gonna make these braids a little bit looser. So now, to set my hair, I'm going to use Femaliant. This works really, really well for the beachy wave look. And I'm going to take that and just put it through the hair from right about my ear down to the bottom, all the way to the ends. If you start your braids too high up, it's not gonna look like beachy waves. It's gonna look like almost like a crimper or a different style. It doesn't necessarily look bad, it just looks different. So now that I've got my Femaliant in, I'm going to make a three strand braid. So one, two, and three strands. And I'm going to take one side, pull it over the middle and onto the other side, then this side over the middle and onto the other. And I'm doing this sort of loose, not too loose, but also not too tight. You want to get as close to the bottom as possible, otherwise if you keep it the hair binder on at the end that's not all the way to the bottom, it's going to create a crease and you don't necessarily want that. So I'm going to go right about to there. I'm going to take my elastic and secure the hair with that elastic and move to the other side. So I think this side just needs a little more water. We just make sure that, that it's nice and coated. Try not to spray yourself in the face. And I'm gonna brush it through one more time. And add the Femaliant, a good amount. I have quite a bit in my hand. And making sure that you are pulling your setting all the way through to the end. Make sure you've gotten all your little hairs pulled through. And now that my Femalian is in, I'm gonna section this into three equal parts and begin my braid. Now with this look, what I'm gonna be doing is pinning it up and, cause I'm gonna be sleeping on this overnight. Now if you're kind of a crazy sleeper rolling around a lot like I do, you might wanna wear a scarf and wrap that around just to make sure that you're not getting too much frizz and messing up your beautiful beachy waves that you just made by the braids. So I'm down to the bottom here. I'm going to secure it again with another elastic. Just like so. And then I'm going to be pinning this up. So I'm just kind of pinning it up and around in the back and using bobby pins to secure it. probably use five or six since I am going to be sleeping on this just to make sure everything stays in a good place nice where I want it okay oh, a little undrop though gotta get that one okay so that's that side and then I'll do the same on this one Pinning them up nicely. And now that I have them all pinned up, I'll show you what it looks like from the back. So thankfully it worked out that it pinned up nicely because I'm gonna go out to dinner after this. But while, now that this is just gonna set overnight, I'll wrap it up in a scarf, go to sleep, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, I'm back. I have slept on my hair, I slept on it last night. I'm gonna unpin these beachy waves and we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to be using a little bit of product today. 
Um, probably just some dry remedy oil to run my fingers through my hair and I do have a brush just in case I need it but we'll see how it looks once I take these braids out. And just going to be really gentle with the binders. Sometimes they get a little stuck. Try to be really gentle so you don't pull your hair out accidentally. And I'm really gently just going to loosely pull those braids apart. Just one little section at a time. going to leave that there for now and start on the other side. And as you can see, I'm just with my fingers pulling one little section apart at a time, really gently trying not to disturb the curl pattern. All the way to the top. And as you can see, I've got these really, really nice loose waves. So I'm going to use just a few drops of my dry remedy oil just tipping it over and just getting one to two drops there. Running it through my fingers and just starting at the ends, just kind of piecing it through. And again, being really gentle, nice soft touch with these. And I'm gonna go close to my scalp, but not too much towards the top because yeah, I don't want it to look oily at all. And I'm just kind of getting rid of the clumps of the fomalliant that I used for my setting product last night. I'm, and I like to shake it out a little bit, just kind of piece it apart. And I will finish off with my Be Curly hairspray. Just spray on a few spritzes here and there. You can spray a little extra on the ends and just kind of scrunch them a little bit, just loosely like that. Again, not disturbing that curl pattern. And now I have a finished look. So I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial on the beachy waves and I hope to see you next time.